And they're doing it again, guys, this time in the state of Massachusetts and the state of Connecticut and the state of Hawaii and the state of Virginia and Illinois. Should I go on? No, seriously, should I go on? Listen, guys, there is an agenda out there that is a complete and utter assault on our Second Amendment. They are vomiting on the Second Amendment, and that's the purpose of this page. Listen, don't go away. I'm doing this for you because you may only get your local news from your local broadcasting area and are not aware of what's going on in other states, and this is why I take my time out of my day in order to help you be a better, well-informed protector. Here's the deal, guys. I'm not concerned about my classes being full. I got it. We're good. What I am concerned about is these politicians are chipping away every single day, 24-7, as an army chipping away at that Second Amendment. So let's get into it. Out of the state of Massachusetts, there is currently a bill proposed and will likely pass, all right, that would put a 36%. That's right. Let me say that again. 36% tax on all firearm and all ammunition sales anywhere within the state of Massachusetts. Now, if you are from Chicago and Crook County, that's right, Crook County, you will have recalled that recently Cook County had a five cent per round tax on all ammunition except for the 22. The 22 had a one cent uh, tax per round. They were giving us a deal. Wasn't that nice of them? All right. This is preposterous. It is overbearing. I mean, why don't they just make it 200% to really keep everyone safe if they would just put a 200% tax on every ammunition and firearm sale, that would work, all right? In their minds, it would, and they would be happy to do that. I think they said, eh, if we go anything further than 36%, we'll be pushing it. And coming in from the state of Connecticut, the governor proposes banning open carry altogether and enacting a one gun a month and more restrictions on ghost guns, all right? A one gun a month purchase if you are a law-abiding person in the state of Connecticut. And of course, Hawaii, now that they must be a shell issue state and they're in a complete frenzy over there in Hawaii, are proposing a law that would ban concealed carry in sensitive areas, areas that are sensitive to the citizens and they don't want people carrying there. Listen, every mass shooting is happening in prohibited areas and it must be stopped. These gun grabbers acknowledge that to disarm a society, a society will ultimately allow tyranny, all right? We mustn't let it happen. You must speak up as a voice and a proponent of the Second Amendment. And the best thing you can do is support organizations that support you and your Second Amendment right. But even better yet, simply right now, share this video Put your thoughts into the comment section like this. Share it to your other social media platforms. It's about getting the word out and it's about being a driving force for the Second Amendment. Listen, we got anti-gun advocates out there. Moms Demand Action, Every Town. These are huge grassroots organizations that on a daily basis are lobbying each and every politician across the nation with big money to put in, uh, restrictions on the Second Amendment. We must stand up and we must vocalize um, our love for our constitutional rights. Now, as you know, the Illinois assault weapons ban passed, all right? And I know everyone says it's going to court, and this is true, thank God. However, these laws are passing, and it's infringing on your families in those states. It's infringing on your colleagues in those states. It's wearing down the minds of the citizens that guns are bad, guns are of the devil, guns should be abolished. Folks, we mustn't let it happen, and uh, damn it, I am going to do my best, but I need your help, because again, guys, this is not about me. I have my classes. I have my guns. Everything is cool, but this is about you and the chipping away of you and my Second Amendment right. So with that be, oh, by the way, another thought, you know, just to kind of piggyback, 
We had that mass shooting in California, and the chief of police, I believe in, what is it, Monterey Park, has already indicated that it wasn't an assault rifle. Oh, it was an assault rifle. But it was an assault pistol with an extended magazine. The language, the language that is consistently used. You know, about them giving us a deal, right? I, I mentioned the uh, the tax on ammo. You know, with the ATF's pistol brace ban, the ATF, that rule-making entity, all right, the ATF cannot create laws, only Congress to do, can do that, but the ATF rules making as a rule-making entity also gave you a deal. They say comply, register within 120 days, and you don't have to pay the tax stamp. We will waive that, that $200 fee. If you just sign on the dotted line and register, uh, we will waive that fee. Listen, guys, it's a hook and reel. I would encourage you to do what you think is best for you and your family, but I would also encourage you to think about that decision quite heavily. Folks, again, subscribe to the channel. I appreciate you, man. You've done a great job. We've grown significantly, but it's not enough. It's not enough. We must reach more people. So again, subscribe, hit the bell notification, share, share it to your social media, put your comment in the section uh, to voice your opinion on what you think is going on and the future may hold. And I'll be seeing you soon. Remain safe.